What's up, my Navy? It's your girl, So Naya K, and I'm back with another video. Period. Excuse me. So, as y'all can tell by the title, today I'm doing something that I honestly don't think I've ever done before, but I have gotten a lot better with doing my makeup why not do a little soft glam tutorial for my girls i'm starting off with a clean face we have my eyebrows already um glued down let's just get into it and while i do this i do want to do a little a little chit chat a little chit chat i start off priming the face with elf i personally like to use a um a paintbrush when I'm applying my concealer or when I'm, concealer. Get it together. I like to use a paintbrush when I'm just applying the uh, primer just to make sure I'm getting it all over the face and I really don't want to use my hands when I do it. Um, you know, because you're really not supposed to be touching in your face like that for real. So I actually got this from my MUA. When she does my face, she never applies the primer with her hands. She always applies it with a brush. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna steal that from you, Miss Mamas. And before I put anything on, we wanna make sure this is dry into the skin. Like, don't try to go put something on on top of this while it's still wet. Wait till it gets fully dry so it's fully tacky. Make sure makeup stick better. I didn't realize, I honestly didn't realize how many um younger girls that I have an impact on like I have a lot of younger girls that that watch me that subscribe to my channel you know that look up to me and things like that and like I said I genuinely didn't realize you know I had a girl DM me and um she was basically just like you know she looks up to me she watches my YouTube she follows me on TikTok um she wants to be like me she loves my life and all this and you know i know on social media things can look like glitz and glam and it'll make you think like oh i love this person life like i want to be just like her whatever the case may be and it's like i get it because we all fall we all fall into that at some point of time in our life um where we just we feel like somebody just here and we be like oh yeah i'm trying to get up there with her we all fall into that every now and then so it's just like when she said it, I was just like, and she's a young girl, like I want to say she's like 15 or 16. And so she might be 14. I'm really not sure. But and even my little sister and like her friends, they watch me like they pay attention to me. My sister just turned 13. So her friends, they range from like 12 to 15, but 12 to 16 probably but they watch me and they pay attention and they they ask me questions and I hear her friends always like oh I just now you so this and I said and that's no bragging like I'm not bragging I'm just saying I didn't realize how much of a impact I have on the younger generation it's like for one to my to miss mamas who DM me I'm not gonna put your Instagram out whatever like that but i want you to know everything that glitz is not glam okay so i know my life may seem perfect and i have this together and i have that together but i'm normal um I, I go through stuff i have days where i don't want to pull this camera out i have days where i don't even want to do content creation no more like i have days where i just be i be over it where i'm not feeling my best like i'm not confident and it's you know I, I go through regular things that regular girls go through so i kind of just wanted to get on here and just tell y'all like everything that glitz is not glam but i'm not saying that right everything that everything that glitter is not gold that's what i'm trying to say I'm talking about everything that glitz is not glam nobody never said that <laughs> so then i go in after my primer has gotten tacky i go on with born this way concealer in the shade honey and i do this for my i'm sorry no i don't 
I go on Born This Way Concealer in the shade Caramel. And I do this for my under eye. I'm just put it right in these. On the bridge of the nose. Right here. I put some, okay, that was, that was a lot. I like to just shape right here on my nose. Is that all I do? Oh, a little bit right here, a little bit right there. As I was saying, everything that's glitter is not gold. But what I what I will say is to the younger generation, because now I know that y'all are watching. At y'all age too, I just feel like it's so it's so it would be so great for y'all to really get connected with God, even with y'all being at a young age, because everything everything is through him like ev everything is through him i'm not i'm not nothing without him I, I guarantee you that so it's like when god says for you it's for you okay so just remember that because people think like oh she got it made because of the money she got it made because of the TikTok followers and all that, but it's like, nah, nah, sis. I got it made because God just been good all the time. I think I cannot, I don't know if I can do this, y'all. Like, talk to y'all, give y'all advice, and um, film. I mean, and do my makeup because I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. Okay. So while I let this sit, I go in with my bronzer from Juvia's Palace, and this is in Sun Kissed. One of my Real Technique brushes, lightly dab, because this is real pigmented. And it, okay, I do kind of dab it off a little bit on to my hand. And I just go in right here. Go up a little bit on both sides. You don't want to go down too low. That's a little bit too much. But you don't want to go down too low with your um with your bronzer. You really just want to be right up in here. I'm I'm definitely going a little too low. That's that's too low to me. You don't need all that. And this brush might be too too wide also because it's putting it. But that's okay because we could clean that up easily. You want to go here, and I use this brush to do that. Just gonna shape the nose start I start like right here at the bridge and kind of just work my way down see that just following that shape of the nose oh god okay it's because I'm trying to film a tutorial that I'm messing up I promise you and I'm gonna just circle around the nose, just like that. <clears throat> I'll turn my beauty mo off too, so y'all should be able to see it like real good. And I just go upwards in an upward motion when I'm blending this out. And I put I put too much, but that's okay. Like I said, we could clean that up. Really could clean it up with. You clean up with your actual shade foundation. I mean, concealer or foundation. So this is mocha. And this is my actual shade. So I would just... Not too much. But I would just kind of... So, if you are... A part of my younger crowd and you want to tap into even if you're not a part of my younger crowd if you want to tap into content creation i literally have created an ebook an ebook full of gems for the beginners it's going to be linked down below it's on sale for the rest of the month so you have a lot of time to get it and um it's actually been helping it's actually been helping girls. I'm not going to lie. People that have bought it, they've reached out to me. 
telling me like it's helped them get started. I give you like a hundred plus content ideas. Um, you know, I teach, I talk to you about analytics, starting off with your scheduling. You even have um, a gifted pitch that will basically you can copy and paste it. And when you're reaching out to brands, you can use those exact words, regardless of whatever brand that you're reaching out to. So it's real, it's really helpful. Some real good stuff in there. I literally just had a girl who just bought it, like literally right before I started this video. And um, she messaged me and was like, girl, I got the ebook. I'm so happy I'm about to start. Because as soon as you get the ebook, you you literally can start. Like soon as you get the ebook, you can start. Um one thing I would say is don't rush it. Don't rush the process, but also don't overthink the process either. Like, I know a lot of people trying to start off and they overthink it so much. Like, just overthinking what has to go into being a content creator. And it's really not as deep as people think it is. <laughs> like, it is really not. You don't have to be perfect. Your content don't have to be perfect. Now, eventually, when you, when you, you know, want to tap into working with bigger brands and stuff like that, then that's when you will start perfecting just your craft and things like that. But when you just starting off, me personally, forget perfection. Focus on consistency. That's that's what I would say when you starting off. Forget trying to be perfect and making sure you got the perfect lighting and making sure you got the perfect phone and the perfect camera. Forget that. Focus on consistency. Make you a schedule, make you a plan, and stick to it. Stick to it. Make it to where, like, this is a job for you. Like, you got to clock in every day and put effort towards your job. And eventually, it's going to become routine for you because it's like clockwork. You're doing it every day. So it's like, it's a part of you now. It, it, it ain't really no stopping. Because it's a part of you. And that's something to this day that I'm still... I wish I would have started off with in my head. Forget perfection. Work on consistency. Because I started off with... I got to be perfect. And my content got to look like this. My content got to be like this. Oh, I don't have no money for this. I don't have this. I don't have that. And I started off with no money. Like, I had a job when I started off. But I didn't have enough money to be put in towards content creation so it was like i started off no money money going towards bills and that's that's it and baby them brands started reaching out i didn't have to buy a single thing definitely the biggest thing that people think is they need money to start you can start content creation with zero dollars zero dollars i guarantee you might not think, but I guarantee you got something in your house right now. Just, just take a look. Take, just take a second to think. What do I have in my bathroom, in my kitchen, in my hair products or um, flat irons, beauty products, skincare products, um, even clothes? What do I have already that I can start promoting today? It could be an old wig that you ordered from a company. Go reinstall that wig and tag that company. Go get that skincare product. Wash your face for a video and tag that company. Go put on that Shein dress that you ordered two months ago and already took pictures in. Nobody cares. <laughs> I, I kid you on. Nobody cares. Trust me. We're not worried about if you wore it two months ago. Okay? And even if they are worried, sis, let them be worried. Because when the money start rolling in... Okay. Go go get that Shein dress that you bought two months ago. That Shein shirt, pants, shoes, fashion over dress. Go make a video, get dressed up like you finna go somewhere, get ready with me to go, da da da. Girl, you, you could be going get right back in your bed. It don't matter. Do that, tag that company, and keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep looking for products in your home. Keep looking for it. Keep, you gonna find something. I guarantee you not, you gonna find at least six things. At least six things. And if you ain't got it, call your home girl. Call your auntie. Call your mama. Call your mama. I bet you she got something you could promote. Hey, I'm giving you free game. It's the way you act. act. 
So I'm going in with Fenty Beauty. This is also bronzer. This is in the shade Mocha Mommy. This is very pigmented. This is very pigmented. So if you get this, be real careful with it because mm, she 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 gonna show up, okay? And I kind of just after we cream bronze, we just powder bronze right on top of everywhere we just contour that bronze that same difference. Go right in the forehead. Mm-hmm. Now, take you a smaller brush. Oh, child. I forgot to blend out this. The bronzer, I mean, yeah, the bronzer around my nose. I blend everything out with a powder puff. Me personally, I love blending with a powder puff. It's it's the best thing ever to me. It blends better than a brush. It blends better than a beauty bender to me. Like it's literally patting everything right into the skin. So we go in with some more. Tap that, tap that, and just. Even if you got too much right here, just brush it out and drag it on down. Brush it out. I like for my, um, what's it called anyway? I like for this to be on my eyelids anyway, so it really don't matter to me. It's going to blend out anyway. I'm going to have to conceal all that, so it's okay. Only thing is, I don't have a good eyebrow pencil right now. My eyebrow pencil is broke, so that's fine. Go ahead and just pat this up some more. Pat, 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 pat. Because we're going to go ahead and kind of bake, but not really bake. I use one size translucent. I have the mini. This lasts for a long time. I don't, if you're not an MUA, I don't really know why you need the big size. But that's just me. I don't know. I got these pink puffs off Amazon. If you want them, they're going to be in my Amazon storefront. So we're just going to dab some of that. And when I get some of this on here, I just dab into here just so it's not... Oh, yeah. Just so it's not so much... And then I take it and I press and then we go out. The reason I press is so this is real sharp around the nose. While that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I use the um, Benefit Brow Pencil. This is not the one I use. I actually use this one, but it's... It's literally gone. I don't have anything left. This one is shaped more like this. Oh, okay. Thought, I thought it was out. I was going to say. This one is shaped like that. I'll be dropping a wig influencer ebook very, very soon because wig influencing is probably the most easiest to get into. Like, it is really the most easiest to get into. You could do a video right now on your natural hair for wig influencing. Like just slick back bun or let me show you how I flat iron my hair. Little stuff like that. And wig brands will start reaching out to you. Like you don't always have to do wig content for wig brands to notice you. So what I mean by that is wig companies, they pay attention to all hair related content. And you would think like, oh, they only pay attention to like wig content but they don't um like i started off how i got into wig influencing i started off literally doing clip-in content like i was really only doing clip-ins i was ordering uh clip-ins off amazon i was promoting them nothing about wigs 
wasn't doing any promo for wigs, straight clippings. So me, I'm thinking, you know, probably like um, companies that sell bundles, they'll start reaching out, stuff like that, because I'm still having my natural hair out. Girl, them wig, them wig deals start flying in like crazy. As long as they see like, oh, she do some type of hair content, her hair content does good. So if we send her a wig, it, it should also perform well. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's how they look at that. I just finished my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and shape these suckers up. I'm using my concealer once again in the shade caramel. If you struggle with carving your brows, it's probably because you're trying to carve them in like a big old mirror. Try to get you a mirror that gets like super close. Mine's is dirty, but I can still see that gets like super close because it's going to help you really shape those brows out good. So I like to dust my powder off with powder foundation on my brush. This is from Sephora. This is in the shade Warm Amber. I need some more of this real bad. But um, yeah, this is, I just put some on the brush and then I, oh God, and then I dust this off. your finsta I, mean, I always say that i don't want your insta or your snapchat at me on your finsta will you be bad at i'm forgetting my most favorite thing i don't know why my eye keep doing that i'm forgetting blush i've been put blush on what am I doing? So for blush, I'm using NARS in the shade Torrid. This is my favorite, favorite blush. I've been having this for a long time. Um, I haven't found no blush that I like better than this. A little brush like this to, um, Blend that concealer out at the top. I'm sorry, y'all. I use Juvia's Palace, Palace uh, Blush Duo. This is volume six. This is the orange colors. I, I apply a little bit extra of this for blush. Okay, let's go ahead and spray her down. I use Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. There is a difference between the setting and the fixing spray. Make sure if you're setting, you have setting spray, not fixing spray. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a a mole girl. I always have to add moles to my face. It's actually ridiculous, but I honestly don't care. I love having a mole on the face. It just, it, it, it brings the face together to me. So we put one here at the top, one here. I'll do one here, uh, here, little one there. And I really just put them all over, like wherever I want them at, that's where I put them. It's really no specific, no specific area for the molds. We're gonna add some under eye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Too Faced um, Killer Liner. And I believe this is Killer Black. And then I use 
Bad Gal Mascara by Benefit. I like to use a big mirror for this just so I'm not putting it all over my face. I could actually see my bottom lashes and make sure I'm only getting my bottom lashes. I don't want to go for a, 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 a Bratz lip. So I'm going to use this same liner. I don't cry about my lips. I have never done this before, so I don't know. I'm going to add some brown to it. Uh-huh. I'm talking about adding brown. The brown didn't cover it up. I'm putting Juvia's Palace. This is Peach Rose. So we're just going to put this in there. I had some Juvia's Palace. Juvia's Palace sponsor me. I'm going to add some Juvia's Palace. This is the name. Cream de Casa. I don't know how to pronounce it. I never have known how to pronounce it. But I'm going to add some bitch on top. Just to kind of calm that pink out a little bit. We're gonna add some gloss on top of that. Move this up a little bit though. NK watermelon gloss on top. Add glitter on top, you see. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. So yeah, get into it. That's it for this um this look. If y'all want the link to this wig, follow me on TikTok because that's where you can find the link at. Or you can find it. Oh no, you can find it on TikTok. That's it. <laughs> So, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Once again, for my girls that are looking to become creators, influencers, whatever the case may be, down below you will have the links to both of my ebooks. They're on sale for the remainder of the month. So, you really have no excuse. If you are younger, tell your mama it's for a good cause. Tell her you're trying to tap into your content creation bag and just tell her the girls are making money. And if she wants you to make money at 14 and 15, she needs to let you pay $12.75 for the ebook because that all, that's all it costs. Y'all, oh, do not hesitate me. I'm very nice. I'm a very sweet girl. I don't, like, not respond to DMs. I'm not the type of person. You don't got to set up no call to talk to me. I'm not going to take three days. Like, I'm so busy to respond. No, I'm not like that. If you message me on TikTok, no, don't message me on TikTok. If you message me on Instagram, this is my Instagram name. Just let me know, hey, I bought the ebook, but I still need some help. How do I do this? How do I do that? You can most definitely do that. Don't be scared to ask me any questions because if I know the answer, I'm going to give it to you. So that's it. I'm Sonia K and I'm signing off. Love.